Peter, are you sure you know what you're doing? Never stopped me before. He's a classic underdog. He's a rascal. Sorry! Wait, didn't you try to eat me? Show me your teeth. <sighs> it was you! I knew it! How are you? So good to see you. He's a leader and he has this confidence. No guts, no glory. He's got this zest for life and his adorable nature allows him to get away with so much mischief. He was like... Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Can't mess with Peter's look. Blue jacket, no pants. It's bold. <laughs> Time to get our garden back. Flopsy! Yeah! Oh, Flopsy kind of has middle child syndrome. Sorry about Dad's jacket. I'm sorry you lost Dad's jacket. <gasps> I just said that. She kind of does have a little bit of nervous energy. And she has a lisp. Yeah, it's actually a bit confusing. It's fun to have the sister dynamic. Yes. And be playing around all the time. Oh no, I think we have a problem. Everything's upside down. <laughs> Mopsy is eldest of the triplets. Coming from the oldest, it just kind of means more. She's smart and feisty. Ow. <laughs> She's an adorable, Aww. one foot tall rebel. Shh, I can read lips. The elements here are pretty fabulous. The elephants around here are really flatulent. Wait, what? Cottontail! Oh, oh God! Cottontail represents the sort of loose cannon. I can fly! Oh. oh, it's OK. I've got 11 more ribs. She is a little bit mental. Should we break both ankles or just one? I'm sorry, that was weird. Both. She's awesome. Cottontail, give him a wet willy. Got it. <laughs> Did he just wink? I didn't even know we could do that. Growing up, my sisters and I were massive Beatrix Potter fans. The character of Peter Rabbit is just in the fabric of growing up in the United Kingdom. He's such a lovable character, which owes everything to the genius of Beatrix Potter, really. The illustrations were so magical. She brought to life characters out of these animals and really just changed so many childhoods with how beautiful her imaginative world was. <gasps> the stories are so timeless and it's nice to escape to that. The film had the blessing of the Beatrix Potter groups. They saw that it was true to the character and the world that Beatrix built. It's our responsibility to keep that protection, that legacy there. This film is able to kind of still really capture, I think, a lot of the essence of the books. We hope that people will see the film, enjoy it, be inspired by seeing Peter, and then want to come see the places that inspired Beatrix over a hundred years ago. Peter is always going to be a rascal. He's mischievous. Peter Rabbit, he thinks it's his right to take whatever he wants. Old McGregor disagreed with that. Rabbit. And uh, my character, Thomas McGregor, uh, also disagrees with that. Peter, are you sure you know what you're doing? Never stopped me before. Hello. The film has all of the characters we know and love, just obviously with a little update. It looks like there's a new owner. This guy, who does he think he is? This is our land. It's time to bring the fight to him. It goes from the garden to the local town in the Lake District, and then they end up on this kind of crazy jaunt in the centre of London. It's so funny, but at the core, it is about being there for the people that you love. With the help of his friends, Peter really finds a way to grow up. No, nope, not a chance. I hope that children will fall in love with this character the same way that every young person did in Britain when they were read them by their parents. Come on, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail. I just feel very, very excited and honoured to be part of it. Hey, it's Lisa here with a look at some of the awesome animated and live action movies coming out in 2018. Paddington 2 on January 5th, Peter Rabbit on February 14th, A Wrinkle in Time on March 9th, The Incredibles 2 on June 15, Hotel Transylvania on July 13, Smallfoot on September 14, Jungle Book Origins on October 19, The Mulan live action movie on November 2, Dr. Zeus's The Grinch on November 9, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck-It Ralph 2 on November 21, and Mary Poppins Returns.
Auctions on December 25th. Wow, it looks like 2018 is going to be a pretty busy year for family themed movies. I can't wait. Which one or ones are you most looking forward to? Let me know below. See you next time.